We are live. Good evening, America. Good evening, everybody. We are here. We're actually jumping on Instagram just to let the Instagrammers know that we are live on Facebook right now. Whew. What a night. What do you mean? You slept. <laughs> I finally got to have a sleep. He got that? to have a sleep and I stayed awake all night. So what we did is we've revised our website, like store.futurecleaning.com. G'day, Larry. G'day, Josh. Yeah, so um, we revised the website overnight, the store part of the website, because we love the store part. And um, so it's a whole new look. But, and uh, Kiwi language would say, I buggered it. He buggered it up. I buggered it up. So I've got uh, <coughs> Daniel's hair. It's Tom hey, hair. Daniel, yeah, like you, it's a, like. Who wants to watch television when you can watch Bill and Ben the Firepot Men? <laughs> yeah, so um, so if you go to store.futurecleaning.com any old time, then um, you Today. can pr proofread it for us. But basically, I've, we've separated out now um, the way you can buy like a mini with e-packs, pro with e-packs, procision, um, upgrade pro to procision, should all be much more simple. And then we've, I'll go through it tomorrow night, or tonight, tonight. whatever day it is. And uh, clean up all the definitions and hey, Paul's here. Kiora, yeah. Remy's here. Remy, my man. Mm. Pardon me. I never do that. No, not never happens at not all. Do no. So um, have anything to do with that? So this day. is the Reach It Report daily report. We have got some new things to announce and some uh, interesting things that happened some during the day. Yeah, new. we had a good day sale. Even though the the sale is over, we still got great day sale. So oh, that was yeah, nice. We had some great day sales. It was good. Yeah, what I do when you're asleep, right? Exactly. Just bring them in. Exactly. You managed to equal my daily sales. It's yeah, good. We got them. G'day, Chris. G'day, Chris. We've even got people ringing us telling us when they're going to buy sometime <laughs> in the future, right? But they're actually ringing us, say, hey, hey, I'm going to buy on Monday. I'm going to buy next Friday, like that. So that's pretty exciting. We're pretty pumped about that. Chris is here. He's one of my favorites. Like... You wouldn't watch TV after you watch the Bill and Ben, the Flower Pot Men. Exactly, yeah. exactly. There's so here's no the, fun like it. Here's the big announcement that today, like uh, you'll see actually if you go to the website and you go down the bottom, you'll see Reach It Rewards. So we have a Reach It Rewards program and that's how we're going to... Reward well, you. Reward you. Because it boils down to this. that I have a philosophy. I don't know if you know my history, but I had a large business and I was very good at negotiating. Rich Hyde is here from the UK. <laughs> Oh, my God! Evening. He's a new it's one. It's after midnight there, man. What are you doing? you got to get up in three hours. He's having a cold beer watching us. It's possible. It's possible. Ah, Brian, you're a good man. Yeah, that was a good sale, right? That was a good sale. So um, now it's back to business. But th when I was uh, maybe 35, I had a big business. And um, and um, we had about 100 staff. And I had this meteoric rise and a, me and a meteoric crash, right? But... Um, that was uh, 11, blah, 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 great water, and then, and then, and then, oh yeah, you're a lucky, low, low TDS lucky. in your tap water. So, um, <laughs> but what happened is that during that time I was, I was a great negotiator, and I was able to cut deals, you know, with people, and they would agree to the deals, but actually it was, you know, me, maybe me persuading them, but I was young and I didn't really understand that. Afterwards, when we went bust in that business, um, I would meet these guys, <laughs> whoop, Rich, that's that's gonna be a... oh, good on you, buddy. Yep. So I was, um, I met up with one of these guys and I said, hi, how is everything? I was wanting to be his friend. And he said, listen, you know, rooster one minute, feather dust in the next, right? Ha ha, like that. And it was really hurt me and shocked me. Not hurt me like, you know, eh -eh, like, you know, soft people get hurt. But I kind of got, took a hit from it. And then, um, and I realized that I'd cut this guy. He said, like, you know, you just cut this deal and there wasn't anything left in it for me. And I said, but you agreed to the deal. He said, yeah, but you were so big and so powerful. And I just, I just went along with it. But in the end, I didn't make any money out of it, blah, blah, blah. And that was kind of like an impactful moment in my life where I realized that you've got to leave enough money, always leave enough money in, in it for the next guy. And um, when, we, when we started Reach It, we have this policy called nothing for nothing. What does nothing for nothing mean, Johnny? Nothing. <laughs> You give Jesus. nothing, you get nothing. You give nothing, you get nothing. Oh, hey Jesse Stairs, he give me a bit, give me a call after the show on five six two six eight four four nine two eight, and I'll help you out. I'll advise yeah. you on what, what you should and shouldn't get. He's got he gives good advice. So nothing for nothing means nothing for nothing. Like we just run a total policy of not running debt and not running. Um, 
indebtedness, you know. So, uh, what, you know, what we want is with Reach Rewards, it's going to be a points-based system. So we can say, look, we'll give you 200 points in the store if, you, you know, if we use one of your photos like we did recently with $20. But we thought that $20 is hard to manage, and then we have to give them a coupon code. And then, um, you know, Kristen asks, you've got a coupon code, but then when you do something else for us, we can't increase that coupon code. You know, we have to issue a new coupon code. Whereas with, the, um, with Reach It Rewards, we're going to be able to just, you know, add to the points, and then those points become credits at a 10 to 1 basis. So, Billy Haar is here. Hey, Billy. Good to see you, man. It's been a long road with Billy and us, <clears throat> but we always get to the end, right? We, we, we definitely have a policy of no, no man left behind. Like, we don't have stragglers. We don't, we don't take off in the helicopter while there's a man on the ground. You know, we just we just suck it up, and uh, you know things do go wrong in business. It sucks. We hate it, but it happens. Especially when you're growing. I mean, it's not so easy. It's easy if you've got a static business to expect everything to be static, and it's easy when you haven't. Like I was never a manufacturer before, but you start working with plastics, and you realize, oh my god! Like I always thought plastics were just plastics, but man, you like now you know why people make something and they never change it. Like, Gardner hasn't changed their clamps hardly. They did put a little spring in it recently, but really they didn't change their clamps maybe for years and years and years and years. Unger hasn't changed their clamps for six years. And the thing is, like, now I understand why, is it because when you actually get that thing to work, like, don't... Oh, I didn't fudge say that. I said don't it. fiddle with it! <laughs> <laughs> We're on live TV! Jesse, Jesse, our phone number is 562-684-4928. Yeah. Give me a call after this. Live on Facebook, live on Instagram, simultaneously. That's pretty exciting. Anyway, we have, I don't know, a couple of thousand, I don't know, maybe a thousand Instagram followers. But we love Instagram. If you haven't used Instagram in your business, it is a very good vehicle. Like, there's definitely a whole lot of people, you get to tell a story, right, about your business. And um, and so I recommend it. Like, get into your local community. And Instagram is very hashtag. I'm not so hashtag yet. Harrison's training me. But um, if you hashtag your local, you know, areas that you service and stuff like that. Hashtag sunny day. <laughs> hashtag sunny day. Is that the best you can do? Yeah, well, it's that, a sunny day. Turn that air conditioning down. I'm warming up. Have you got air conditioning in this place? Yeah, I do. Jesus. It's better than your place. God damn. You're not allowed to cuss like that. We've got people in the Midwest who don't like you. Blaspheming. I said, Damn. That's <laughs> you're blaspheming, brother. <sighs> you're just a redneck. No, we're all allowed you're, to have our equal you're rough. say in life. He's rough. We're all allowed our equal say in life. <laughs> that's right. If you're offended by my equal say, well That's a sorry. Well, we'll slap him around. I'll slap him around for you. Hashtag sunny day. Jesse Stairs is on it. Good lad. Thank you, sir. Okay, so reach of rewards, we're gonna release that this week. Um, and then all the people that we use their photos, you can put your hand up and, you know, we'll practice it and test it and see like that. Then we'll be able to run a referral program. So if you refer somebody um, and then they buy off us, you know, then you'll get some credit and they'll get some credit. Like it's the ability, you've got the ability to split the credit. Yeah, credit will say thank you very much on Facebook. Is that credit? That's credit. That's a credit for a lot of people. That's <laughs> appreciation, you know, but, but we just think that, um, you know, we get a lot of people who do a lot for us. And, and help us a lot and praise us a lot and defend us a lot recently and we don't we just uh, we don't want to ever feel like we've taken them for granted or something like that isn't that grey mouth midwest <laughs> no that's that's the that's redneck territory right there in grey mouth um really you get facebook you use facebook live and you get new local customers in a local area that's pretty damn cool I reckon. joey ditzman's on the ball for marketing yeah so what else, what was the other questions? Like overnight we had some questions, <coughs> we've got some... Um, I don't know, I was sleeping for a couple of hours. You slept the, the whole night, no, right? Much. But what I've done is uh, cleaned up the store so it's much easier to navigate. Made a mess of it so you can't see anything. We're going to build some more pages and get the definitions in there. And um, we're pretty excited about that. That'll drive us into, into, the next, uh, into the next chapter. Put the photos back up online so people can see. The other thing I'm working on is a dual DI system. Did I say that yesterday or not? Um. Yeah, you told me about it when we were having. You got lunch. the memory of a golden fish. When we were having lunch, you were telling me. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna work. I'm gonna go back at the original. Oh, I did talk when about we the original DI system. Yeah, when we were sitting there looking at this, you remember the scenery? Oh, the scenery. <laughs> yes, the scenery. This guy. This guy. 
So, um, Rick, Rick's here. How are you? Rick, how did you go with your illogical situation today? <laughs> Rick is trying to get his w wife into Waterfed. That's going to be fun. No, I don't think so. Ah, okay. So, here's the logic. That in the fluid dynamic, I know I went through fluid dynamics of hoses and tubes. It's Josh Roberts is here. Hey, Josh. You growing that beard again? Ha! It's great. Welcome to Ningbo. Yeah? Josh is an ex Ningbo tenant. He's a, not tenant, an ex a Ningbo, <laughs> Ningbo foreigner who's gone back to, he's currently in Chicago, aren't you? Okay, one ask, right? <clears throat> so, um, here's the logic, right? DI uses very little pressure, so, so RO for low, DI for high. And any situation where you have low pressure or the low pressure may have been caused because the viscosity of the water increases. Like those of you in the North, North America, you know, Canada, New York, um, Boston, you know, these areas that really freeze, then the groundwater gets cold earlier and it stays cold later into the season. And that seriously affects the performance of any RO. Now, obviously, oh, Harrison's just buzzed me and said the website is fixed. Yeah, see, I didn't damage it so much. Wow. Well, that, that's not bad, Rick. You just have to go to the hardware <laughs> store and get a little hand cart to put the tanks on. Yeah, you can just put a DI tank, just, you know, just strap it onto a flat, a flat pack. Doug Rock is here! Rucker. Most generous man in the world. Yeah, and the guy who can get more people to be generous alongside Mr. Ron Musgraves can get other people to be more generous as well. See, he leads from the front, this guy. Darcy's a new guy in. Welcome, uh, Darcy. Welcome, Darcy. Um, we, yeah. the wine pump, we don't know yet. They're just, uh, uh, we're just short on time. But just give me like June to get my, my stuff together in the, in the factory. So, but we do have somebody doing some testing for us. So it's not as if we're not moving forward, but we just haven't had time to do anything with it. So yeah, one way is you can put a booster pump. The other way you can go to DI only and in low. Comes in handy. As well as a plastic fruit knife. You are crazy. This buddy. is a back scratcher. You Look, it's crazy. got this little hook here just for scratching backs. You are crazy. I'm going to get more light on your face so people can see that you're here and alive. Here. I'm alive. Yeah. So, um, so, you, so you go to DI and then you want two DI. You always want two DI tanks. I don't know why all the resellers all want to, always want to sell you one. You need two because you never know when. Oh, Rick, you got your military rewards approved. Five percent. Off everything and reach it, no matter how much the sale or the special price is, forever for you. Thank you, sir, and thank you for your service. Yep. Yes. Um, so, um, yeah, so basically, if you use DI um, in low TDS areas, you use DI if you don't use water fed very much, no matter what your TDS is, um, and then you use uh, DI. In when you've got back pressure on the membrane because you, you're increasing it by going at great heights or you might use DI if you haven't got access to electricity for the booster pump and then you want to just push the water through with, with spigot pressure, right? We know you're a busy guy, Daniel. Do you have a pole in each hand? Daniel, <laughs> yeah. Like, we are, go we are going to run a big party in China. Like, we've got Ron, Mus Ron Musgraves, I'm shouting him a trip to China so he can do the reconnaissance. He's a loud guy, and so he's going to tell it as it is, right? So I think that's pretty cool. We're going to invite Lee, or Lee Burbage has kind of invited, Ron and Lee have invited Lee, and I've agreed that that would be fantastic. Have somebody from the UK who's got some social media presence, somebody from the US who's got some social media presence, and then we can tell the story, and then say, do you want us to run a Reach It Academy in China? And then we'll duck down and to Thailand. Thailand. Yes. Because... <laughs> Thailand. Thailand Damn. smashes this place for fun. Yeah, Mark Henry's here. So, um, yeah, so then we get these two DI tanks because you never know when the DI is going to fail because it, it basically works by attraction, right? And there are all sorts of reasons why RO has problems. It's a fantastic way of saving money, but the moment that it's not helpful for you, you should just say, okay, I'll switch to DI. So, for example, if the, R, if the back pressure from working at four stories is is um, is preventing sufficient flow to come through the membrane then at four stories use di and at three stories go back to ro like just you know break the biases break the bullshit all the little rules that are in place you know to try and make you spend more money there are there are workarounds right so i want to just make sure you guys know there are workarounds and um uh, daniel's in daniel's coming to china good number one man 
And um, so what we're going to do, and the other thing that, that, that my first uh, uh, venture into, into Pure Water Systems the was Cicardi. the Sicardi. You've been listening. I, I was alert yesterday. Actually, we made another one which we called... The tin can? Um, the tin can. The DI Industrial. Industrial. I'll put that on, I'll put that on, on hey, live. We, we found a couple of those. Yeah, I've got a couple arc. of them in there. There's and, a couple like, of them out the back. Johnny used to build them in our apartment in Shanghai. They were a stainless steel case so that, and with a lockable so that nobody could steal it and you could bolt it into the back of a pickup. And um, it's the same design as what we're going to go to now, but we'll make this one lighter so we can ship it. And it's like a 30 year old design like us. No, it's like. not. No, no, it's brilliant. So basically, like we've spent our whole lives delivering systems with variable TDS out, um, so that you can set where a spot free is for your local geograph geographical area. Now, there's no doubt that TDS 10 is spot free universally across the board, no matter you know how much calcium, lime, magnesium is in your water. However, <coughs> oh, you found the video for Washington Industrial. There's some funny videos. There's some very old videos of Perry Tate with the Sicardi S E C A D I. You'll see a young Perry, and. Um, in short, no. <laughs> damn, you don't want to see that. Where did that come from? That's ridiculous. God, I've never damn. worn shorts. So, um, he was never young. <laughs> so, um, so we've got. Uh, so the idea is you need two DI tanks. One is reserve. One is backup. Right. So that when the first one fails, you still keep going, and then you can take the first one away and run on the second one, and refill the first one, make the second one first, bring the first one back, and make it second, so that the second tank is always full and ready to go. Boom. But you don't have to replace it straight away. Now, on the way there, we're going to build a bypass and we'll make it a kit that anybody who's got two reach at DI tanks can buy the kit and add it to their kit, to their system. So you'll be able to run a bypass around the DI. So if you imagine the water comes in to your first DI, before it comes in, you split it, right? And you split it, uh, let me show you. So if your DI is here, then you come in and then one goes into the DI there and the other one splits and goes around the DI. Now, if you've got a needle valve here and you can open that up, 50% of the water will go around. So if you had 100 TDS coming in, 50% of the water goes through and comes out 0, 0, 0. 50% of the water goes around and comes out 50. Join it back together, you have TDS 50, right? So the more you wind it down, the closer to zero you get. So, and then we'll, I'm thinking about putting a pure water um, bypass as well, so you don't have to disconnect it to put, just to put it all through to tap. So we may close off, or may put a valve, or a, just a close off valve, so you can push it all through the bypass. I think there's some logic in that for some people that just want to use the the um, the dry okay. car wash method. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I want to burp, but I'm not going because I'm live. You so, um, so, and then we're going to put the dual TDS meter that we've got for the wash it flow. We're going to put a dual TDS meter, so, and we'll have three points before the first tank after the first tank or in between the tanks and after the second tank. So you'll be able to move the two points around um, and then work out, like ideally you want TDS, you know, the, the TDS of the tap water and the TDS out of the first tank. You can be sure the TDS out of the second tank is going to be zero, zero, zero. So you don't really need to measure that. However, if you ever needed to check, we'll make sure there's a, there's a point there. And then we're going to put it into a, um, we're going to go back to that foam idea, keep it light, keep it simple. And um, I think we're going to go back to that foam idea. Some of you have seen my video on that. So we're going to have a bash well, that's at that in a couple of weeks. Thing that you yeah, had <coughs> you saw it out the other day, yeah. It works! Great for the bypass. I have a few signs I clean and we don't need pure water to clean. Yeah, you always got to remember you don't, like, there's a lot of myth about, you know, you need pure water, you need pure water, you don't need pure water you don't for need everything. Pure water, you need an RO system. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Even if your TDS is 20, yeah, you need, that's especially very you, need high. A, you need a two pole RO system. Yes. Which is like another, another myth. You go, anytime you've got two. Two running from one where there's water involved water finds the path of least resistance So you've got one guy cleaning at the pole at four stories another guy cleaning at three stories He'll get more water right because the water finds the path of least resistance There's five psi less pressure there the water will piss out there more than here doesn't mean he won't get any but it's frustrating um, This guy has 150 feet of rhino tube and this guy has 100 feet of rhino tube the water will come out here, like let's say they're both working at the same height, then the water will come out more on the 100 feet of rhino tube side than the 100 feet of rhino tube side. So, you know, there's all this balancing and twisting and all that sort of thing that's going on to try and, and then what we used to do is have little needle valves in both lines to try and balance them off and all that sort of thing. And then ultimately, I realized that it's just total bullshit that 
you would ever. That's 700 bucks, Johnny. Oh, I know. That that's comes nice. From Philip. Oh, thanks, Philip. Thank you for choosing Richard. We love that. We know you do have choices right now. Yeah. Um, we, we, yeah, so we you don't want to, like choice. the idea, the, the, the only real way to run two pumps is have a single pure water system. You don't need a great big massive $5,000, $2,500 commission um, RO system. Which oh, is yeah. just, you do if your TDS is only 20 or 50 and yeah. I give you a poll for no, free. No. Sometimes we find people being sold reverse osmosis membrane systems when their TDS is so crazily low that it would be impossible for them to ever get a return on investment. And that's when we get upset, as you know. I had a guy in, uh, where was he? He was in Canada. He had a TDS of 50. He had $3,000 to spend, and he was ecstatic because he got a $3,000 RO system and a pole for free. Oh, yeah, it was a $200 fiberglass pole that'll destroy oh. his efficiency. Do you know there's no efficiency in pure water? None. It doesn't matter if you spend $79 on our little 2-litre tank or $5,000 on an IPC HydroCard or any brand or an IHG or, or, or an Ionix $30,000. Like Ionix have got crazy prices if you go to Ionix ionixsystems.co.uk and you have a look at that. And the, the pound is like 1.4. Rich, Rich Hyde, if he's here, he might tell us, but I think it's about 1.4 to the USD. So if it's a $20,000 system, it's 20, 28000 right? And they have that, and then they put it on finance. You're like, you never, like, they just tell you you need it, but you'll never get a return on it. Bill Stevens has just joined. Hi, Bill. Bill, welcome. Welcome to Reach It Report. Peyton just every, joined before. Every evening. Welcome, right? Peyton. Better than television, this stuff, because we educate you on the way through. <laughs> and we, we answer give you myths. something to laugh at every Feel now Feel free and every now and then. Johnny will crack a funny. I try. You do. So we try and give you a lot of information, demystify the myths, right? Actually, I heard a great myth the other day. Which myth? Are any of you guys into myth busting out there? If you are, we have a great myth for you to try and hey, Jane. bust for us. Remember what got busted? Oh, do you now, remember? Oh, Johnny will tell you the story because he, he's allowed to tell these stories. I'm not allowed to tell like this, right? <laughs> Can I put the challenge out to people? Not yet. You get to tell the story. Okay. I'll clean up the story. You'll clean up my story. Right. There, the, we, had a, we had a customer who claimed that he was using his Reach It Pro. Now, Reach It Pro, remember, he was using it. And miraculously, this guy is so strong, so tough, that he makes the rock look like a dweeb. This guy is so strong, he was cleaning with the Pro, and he managed to snap... Section 7 with his hand. While he was cleaning the windows. It managed to just snap in his hand. Have Don't he... worry that it had a big crack up the side as well, on either side of the, the break. Exactly. This guy was so strong, he managed to break a Section 7 with his hand while using the pole. Can any of you guys bust that myth for us? Because I'm mystified as to how that happened, unless it was complete. You probably, yes. you probably saw it. Like, those sections, I think we sell them for... Uh, $200 each for a replacement section if it's a genuine warranty um, claim or they're insured. So they've gone and done the court, the program. If, you, if you've got to reach it and you haven't done it, then you go to www.futurecleaning.com forward slash i dot care, no, i dash care dot html. Anyway, somebody can type it in there. But that's how you register your poll for, for, and then you have to go through 10 videos and then you have to answer 10 yes and no answers, which basically says don't leave the poll up against the building on he a windy short, day. He sure did <laughs> Now, Tom, I think you've got a pro. He badmouthed you... us everywhere. Like, as I said to him, look, you know, you, I, I'll pay for... He broke two sections, he says, in, over six months. He broke another one, and he never, we, heard, we never heard from him. Then, all of a sudden, it's appropriate to, to, to badmouth reach it. But, he's I mean, got a really strong right hand, this guy. He managed to just yeah. smack I mean, section the guy's, seven. The guy's got an axe out and just chopped it up and seen if he can cause a, a hassle. And I'm, I'd rather stand on my principles than be blackmailed into this stuff, right? So I let him go wild, and in the end, like I said, you know, I'm going to run this like I teach my boy, you know, is that you've got to be a bigger man, and you've got to say, look, it's not about the money, it's about the principle. Well, we, had, we actually had someone come to us and said, look, oh, somebody, we're, we're sick to death of this guy's yeah, BS. That, was, that might have been we, Brian, I think it was Brian Cox. Because he said, we don't even believe that anybody can do that. 
it doesn't, they don't snap on their own, especially a, a, a bottom section. And this guy said, sick of this BS, send him a section and I'll pay for it. Pay for the freight? Yeah, I think pay Brian for the freight. said, I'll pay for the freight. Because I said, Tim, I'll pay, for one, I'll pay for one, you pay for one, and then we'll pay the freight. Then I said, okay, I'll send you two, and you pay the freight. He said, I'm not spending anything. You, know, you, should, you should send it all to me. But in the end, you know, I think Brian offered to pay the freight, but we were, it wasn't about the money. I just said, in the principles, I just got to let this guy run off his mouth and then stand on our principles. In the end, we, we sent him the two sections. That was about two weeks ago. Like, not a squeak. Not a squeak. Not, not a, a thank, thank you, you. Not a nothing. Right? Nothing. Right? Calling this guy out. These people. Anyway. Exactly. <clears throat> what else is happening? DI Tanks. Doug Apt is here. Doug is not a Reach It fan. But, um, but I think he's going to be soon, aren't you, Doug? Where no? are you going, Joey? It's not bedtime yet. Go Joey! Down. No way! Bring the family to the iPad. Don't leave the iPad. iPad. <laughs> Can't you take the iPad? No. 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 The camera may turn around on you. Oh, you don't want that. Yeah, exactly. No. That ain't happening. Tom's got his mini. He's loving it. Joey sign. Is that Joey signing out? I couldn't tell. Somebody did. Anyway, so one day we're going to get into the. Hey, share this. There goes David. Yeah. David's here. <laughs> Joe <Jay> Kowalski. <laughs> so one day we'll do the Ron Musgraves trick and say, share this, share this, share this, and we'll pay you some benefits. But we're waiting for Reach It Rewards to go completely live. We've loaded it up. Now we're going to work out how we're going to make it work. And then uh, everybody that shares will get, you know, rewards points in the store. And, you know, we'll make it, We'll make this little TV channel a lot of fun. Yeah? G'day, Anthony. How are you, buddy? Pardon me. I never do that. No, you don't. You no, don't. Never. Never do that three or four times an hour. <laughs> an hour. All right, who's got a question for us? I'm, I'm sure we're entertaining, but is there any serious questions out there? And what happened overnight? Like, what, what, uh, flick through your, um, through, flick through, through your my, messages. Okay, okay, which messages? Okay. See which what's messages? going on here. Okay, I will look what at my messages. What questions did people ask us today? Yeah, we're going to solve those problems because there's a lot of demystification. I can't you know, tell you who question. That. I can't no. tell you who question. <laughs> Hang on. Oh no, she was after. Oh, hang on. So definitely, if you want a custom poll, we have we have one request overnight for a custom poll, right? Where we can describe exactly what we want and what we want it for. Like we are the manufacturer. Like we're not guys that just sort of buy them in and then sell you what they bought. Like so, if you need a custom poll, um, you can have that. Thank you, George. What does that say? I gotta go that? back and read. Go back oh, 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 don't delete the comment. All right. I'm not the biggest window cleaner out there, but I love you guys. If you want me to get, post anything on my sites, I would be glad to just message me. Yes, sir. Gene O'Neill, yeah, and we'll get you to do more windows because once you're using Constructor Brush and you're following the, the, the path. Um, when you're ready, Mike Long, you just give us a call and we'll look after you. Look, I'll send you some free stickers for your vehicles as well, some Richard stickers. Here's the, here's the rule. This is how you use a squeegee, right? You come up and you go across the top and down, That's and right then you come back up and you go across the top and down, and then you or maybe you'll come down the sides, right, and then you'll fan fan off, yeah. And so with Constructor Brush, if you can use a squeegee, you can use Constructor Brush. You did extremely well, Daniel Rogers. <laughs> I'm still <laughs> stuck on Thailand. Yes! You got the whole pass? Have you been to Pattaya, to Walking Street? That's pretty wild. I'm not sure we'll go there because we might, some guys may never come home. So here it is. With Constructor Brush, it's got a swivel, right? So as you turn, as you turn the handle, the, the, the brush swivels. Right? I better get myself a little baby one, but anyway, so you basically go up to the top. And now, the jets are over the top, so the jets are not touching. If you do this and you try and use it like a tucker you brush, a baby you're going to wet, wet the frame, right? So you always turn it on the side, and you go across to the corner and then pull down. And then you see here, I'm turning it around. I'm not turning it around here. I'm turning it around down here where it's safe. Right? Then I come up and I go across to the corner and down. Now... I have got, and because we're rinsing on the way past, and we're rinsing on the way past, you can do that two times if you want. But now you have a new top, right? That's the new top. So now I'm going to get my brush, and I'm going to go up is the agitate, down is the rinse. Sorry, Johnny. Up is the agitate, down is the rinse. Up is the agitate, down is the rinse. Up is the agitate, down is the, up is the, agitate, down is the rinse, right? So, and you can do that twice. But if you think about it, <clears throat> when you're a window cleaner, the question you have to ask yourself, if you're scrubbing the grass glass four or five times, don't, don't do that. Because if, unless when you get your T-bar out or your mop or whatever you want to call it, your lammy, your, your wool, your whatever, there's all sorts of names for it all over the world. Your lammy? 
Yeah, we used to call it a lamby because it yeah, used we, to be made of yeah. lamb's wool. Yeah, but that's to... in Australia. You guys yeah. like lambs. <laughs> no, you got to watch out for them with <laughs> lambs. Jesus. Okay, so you got the lamby. Like, but the question is, if you had a storefront and you're cleaning it every week, how many times would you go over to wet up that glass? And the answer is usually one. If you're doing more than one, challenge yourself because you don't need to. You're only cleaning off whatever's been on the glass over the last week, right? So that's one. So if you're going to use constructor brush, you only need to do one pass per piece of glass on that. Now, if you go into a construction um, or a once a year annual clean and you would normally get over it and you do it once and then you go back over and you do it twice, then that would be your ideal. And then you'd pull out your squeegee, then the same with, with constructor, right? So whatever you would have done naturally with a, with a T-bar, you should do naturally and transfer that data and knowledge to the constructor brush, right? <laughs> everything, is, everything is based on mimicking what's already a proven technique to clean windows efficiently, right? Squeezy's been around.